Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go through the basics of how to run a Java project. We're going to run it in two different forms. The first form is going to be using the IntelliJ IDEA IDE, Integrated Development Environment. I'll show you how to set up a project and how to run a main Hello World program in that project. And then we're going to head over to the command line and we're going to run that same project using the Java compiler and the Java runtime environment. All right, let's begin. First things first, go ahead and open up IntelliJ IDEA. IntelliJ IDEA is an IDE by JetBrains. It supports a project structure. So we need to create a new project every time we wanna make a new Java program. Click Create New Project. Up at the top, you'll see the project SDK. SDK stands for Software Development Kit. You can choose from different uh, Java JDKs, Java development kits that you might have installed on your machine. You can see here that I have uh, two different ones installed. Uh, you can see there's something wrong with my version 12, so I'm going to go with version 1.8. Everything else we can leave the same. Hit next. On this page in the wizard, no need to choose from a template. Just leave the defaults and click next. Project name. We're going to call this the classic hello world. Let's make a note of where our project location is. For me, this is in my home directory. That's what the tilde represents on a Unix machine. Idea, product, idea projects, hello world. Remember, we're going to navigate to this folder later via the command line. So do make a note of where yours is at right now. Hit finish. All right, here's kind of the standard window and panels that you see when IntelliJ starts a new Java project. I'm going to go full screen. On the left side, we have a project navigator panel. Up top, we have hello world. That's the name of the project we specified. And look right there. That's that path I told you to remember. So if you forget, you could take a look at it here. Let's expand our project. We'll see a .idea folder and a hello world.iml file. These are meta files that are used by IntelliJ in order to keep track of information related to your project, like your settings. We can ignore them for this video. SRC is a folder that stands for source, and this is where we put all of our Java files. Go ahead and right click on the source folder, go to new, go to Java class, and this is where we name our new Java class. By convention, each public type in Java needs to be in its own file, and we name that file the same as we would name the class or the public type. So for example, if I wanted to create a demo class, I would call the file that holds that demo class, demo, capital D. Here's my public class demo. Note that the name of the class matches the name of the file. That's Java convention. I'm going to type up a standard public static void main string args main method. This is standard for all Java programs. So what we type here has to match exactly. Public static void main string array parameter called args. This is where you can pass in command line arguments and access them via the parameter args. We're not going to be doing that in this video but it's something to keep in mind. Why are we typing string args as a parameter of main? All right, all we have left to do for our hello world is to print out a string that says hello world. System.out.println and then our string hello world or whatever you'd like to put in here. Double check and make sure you don't have any syntax errors. IntelliJ will let you know with some red squigglies and a red light bulb. If you don't see anything, go ahead and try and run the program. The quickest way and easiest way to do this is you can see these two green play buttons on the left side margin. Go ahead and click either one. I'll grab the one right by main. Hit run demo.main. You can also see the keyboard shortcut for how to do this here. And if everything goes well, from the bottom of the screen, a panel is going to pop up showing you your console output. And here's my string, hello world. 
Now that we've created a run configuration by specifying we wanted to run main in this file, you can use a shorter keyboard shortcut, such as on a Mac, Control R instead of Control Option R in order to run this program. You need to have a run configuration first before this option becomes available. All right, so that was a very minimal working example for how to get a Hello World running in IntelliJ Idea. IntelliJ Idea. What I want to do next is show you how to run this program called Demo, demo.java, outside of the IntelliJ IDE. So let's head over to the command line and remember one more time, this project folder here, Hello World, is in, in my case, Home Idea Projects, and that's where I'm going to need to, need to navigate to. For you, it might be different, especially if you're on a Windows machine. So go ahead and open up uh, your terminal if you're on Mac, or open up your command prompt if you're on Windows. So by default, you're probably in your home folder. I can tell I'm in my home folder from this tilde right here. I'll do an ls and I can see all of the folders in my home folder. If you're on a Windows machine, this will be the command dir. Right here, this is what I'm looking for. That's the idea projects folder where my hello world project is located. Home idea projects. So both on a Mac and on Windows, Go ahead and type cd idea projects to change the current working directory to be idea projects. I'll do an ls. You can see I've got a few projects in my idea projects folder. Here's the one I'm most interested in, hello world. That's the one we created a few minutes prior. I'm going to cd into hello world, do an ls. Here's that src folder. By the way, here's an out folder. This is where IntelliJ, IntelliJ puts your Java class files, which are essentially the Java bytecode that is created from compiling using Java C, which we're about to do here shortly. CD to our source folder, ls or dir, and there's demo.java. Now I'm going to compile demo.java into intermediate Java bytecode that I'll then execute using Java. Java C invokes a Java compiler. Next we pass in the name of the file we want to compile for us. That's demo.java. Press enter. If you have any syntax errors, they'll show up here. But since we were just able to run this file in IntelliJ, we know it doesn't have any syntax errors. I'm going to do ls again, and now you're going to see that demo.class file. We just created this by running the Java C command. Back in IntelliJ, when we pressed this green play button or executed the run configuration via control R, those .class files that were created from our code, or in this case one, demo.class, are put in a special folder called out. You can see it right here. So this one was created from a run configuration in IntelliJ. This one was created from this command right here. Now we can go ahead and run our program. Java demo, note that we don't put an extension on the end, no.java or no.class. And there's our output here, which matches our output here. Just to clean a few things up, I'm going to go ahead and remove that demo.class. We're done with our demo of demo.java, so we'll just clean it up a little bit. Do an ls and make sure it's gone. If you're on a Windows machine, instead of running rm for remove, you'll use del, del for delete. We're now done with our demo of demo.java. Just to recap, we made a hello world program. We could have created this in any editor, but we chose to use an integrated development environment, namely the IntelliJ IDEA platform. We created it in IntelliJ, we executed it in IntelliJ, and then just to kind of break down what happens behind the scenes when we press play, we went and executed Java C 
to create Java bytecode and Java to execute that Java bytecode using the Java virtual machine. Everything worked and I hope you learned a few new ways to execute Java code. Thanks for watching.